I was one of the millions of Americans that found themselves jobless back in the middle of March when the pandemic hit full force. I made my living in New York City as a dueling piano player for four years, which was a super fun job. But in order to be a dueling piano player or a cover bar musician, you need bars and coronavirus eradicated bars. Thousands and thousands of people in the live entertainment industry never thought that they would be in a position where live music or live theater wouldn't be a thing. So I knew that I needed to make money, but I knew that I couldn't play bar gigs for the foreseeable future. And the only thing that I knew that I was kind of good at was writing short, dumb, funny songs. So on March 18th, I posted this video on Instagram. We're gonna be stuck inside for a while. Coronavirus is gonna get worse before it gets better and everyone's stressed. It's scary as fuck. Which is why I think now is a better time than ever to pump out some very dumb comedy and I wanna help. I will write and record a personalized song for any occasion. Any occasion? Any occasion! <laughs> Say like an event or a party got canceled. If you give me information about the person that you want the song written for, I will take that information and turn it into a very dumb song. I told my girlfriend, if I can make $200, if I can sell 20 jingles at 20 bucks a pop, I'll be good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I was very surprised to find I got 78 requests in two days. The next couple of months, March, April, May, I kind of treated it like a nine to five job. I'd wake up, I'd write three jingles, record three jingles and then I do it again the next day. As of today, I've written almost 230 of these things, which is pretty, it's pretty cool. And I learned a lot about my own songwriting process. I kind of found a process that works. And that is what this video is here to do. I'm here to share that process with you. So this is how I go about writing a jingle from start to finish. Step one, somebody reaches out to me. They need a jingle. I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. At this point, I've seen requests for all sorts of things. I've seen a lot of happy birthday requests. Bonjour, Ren, what up? Bon anniversaire. That's happy birthday in French, bitch. Look who came prepared. In the beginning of quarantine, it was a lot of I miss you jingles. How I miss you, Hannah. How I love you so. That you're my daughter. I'm grateful every day. You know I'll always tell you what you need to know. And when you miss me, no, I'm not so far away. And then some of them are, have just been straight up ridiculous. Them dick eating boys going nom 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 in the kitchen making noise going nom 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 um, nom nom nom. Believe it or not, them dick eating boys is one of my most popular jingles at this point. That's not a joke. Step two, I send that person a questionnaire to help me get some more specifics and more details about the person that I'm writing about. Here's a questionnaire that I used for the first couple months. It's pretty basic stuff. It's like, what's something that I should know about this person? What are your favorite memories with this person? What's something that you want this person to know? Is there a specific genre that you have in mind? Can I curse? Step three, the person gets me answers to those questions and I assemble that email or the message, whatever it is, into a bulleted list. This was a game changer for my writing process. Being able to see a paragraph and break it down into easily digestible bullets makes writing, in my opinion, way easier when you're writing with a specific goal. It helps me process information more quickly. It helps me make sure I don't miss any important points that I'm supposed to hit. Step four, I grab my guitar or I sit at the piano and I just start playing a chord progression and mumbling nonsense based on some of the details in the bulleted list. If it's a country song, I'll grab the guitar usually and a lot of people want country songs. And then I just kind of start strumming a progression that I like. I just mess around for a couple minutes and find something that sounds good to me. And then I'll look at what the core of the message is. So let's just make one up. Let's make a little one up. If the message was somebody's son or daughter is going off to college, we're gonna miss you. Uh, we're gonna miss you while you're away. The first thing that I try to write is the chorus hook because I find that the most important message should hit on the chorus. So if the main message is I miss you, we're gonna want the chorus to be something about how we're gonna miss this person. Let's call him Jimmy. <laughs> It's like miss you, it should be a happy thing. So maybe it starts major. I'm gonna miss you while you're gone, Jimmy, while you're away. I know your family's proud of you and I know every day. You know, something like that. Like that, that could be a hook with real words, but that could be a hook. And then step five would be write the rest of the song. So once you have your chorus with your main hook and you fill out the chorus with the main details, we're gonna miss you, Jimmy, come back soon. We're proud of you, we love you. Then you go back and write the verse. And based on what vibe you found in the chorus, finding the verse 
think it is easy. So if the chorus is in G and it has this kind of vibe, maybe the verse is like a hum nonsense until and look at the bullets until you can find something that maybe fits. Fill the rest in. Step six, record the damn thing. I record everything in Logic Pro X. I think it's super intuitive and user-friendly. In March, I barely knew anything about the program and everything I learned was basically via YouTube. And there's this one channel that I love called Musician on a Mission. They have super user-friendly videos. Whenever I hit a snag, I would just YouTube that specific problem. For example, how to build a vocal chain in Logic Pro X. How to mix a song in Logic Pro X as, as broad as that. If that's your question, there's an answer on YouTube. Step seven, mix and master. This is where it gets kind of tricky. This was the hardest part for me at the beginning. I found that mixing is a rabbit hole because once you start to start digging and you see how deep you can go in learning about mixing, it can get overwhelming. But again, start on YouTube, start with the basics. How to mix a song in Logic. Once you have a basic mix down, I highly recommend that you master it online at lander.com. Not sponsored by them, I just I use it literally on every song that I record. It just like, in, I don't know that much about mastering. My song before Lander and after Lander is significantly better. And then at that point, after you master it, that's it. Then I would send them the jingle. Try using these steps. It's not gonna apply to everybody because these steps are specific to writing short personalized songs, but you could use the bullet point strategy and apply it to any song that you wanna write. If you wanna write a song about orcas, and I don't know why you'd wanna write a song about orcas. Orcas are rad. Do some research about orcas, make a bulleted list, grab a guitar, sit at the piano, start playing a, a chord progression you like, and just start humming nonsense. And then add some words to that nonsense. And then boom, you're writing a song. Before we dip, I gotta talk about the real sponsor of this video, and that is DistroKid. Specifically, I wanna talk about their synced lyrics feature, cause it's it's awesome. You know that thing on Instagram where you see somebody post a story and they put a song in the story and then the lyrics sync along with the music in perfect timing? Yeah, DistroKid can do that with your own music. They're also the only distributor in the world that can do this. And they made it super easy to do. All you have to do is press play, tap the space bar when your first lyric hits, and then press the space bar again every time that there's a new lyric. Just listen through your song and do that the entire time. That's it. It honestly kind of feels like a game and it's really fun to do and it works like a charm. If you're a DistroKid member, you can get your lyrics synced by going to DistroKid and then lyrics. It's pretty self-explanatory from there. It's so easy to do. Instagram is one of my favorite ways to promote my own music and it's pretty cool to see your song and your song lyrics playing on somebody's story. So check it out. That's it. Go write some songs. I'm so greasy.